Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video I am going to demonstrate a simple bubble sort example. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, let's begin by thinking about what is the big idea behind a bubble sort. The big idea is that we will repeatedly swap adjacent values until the values are sorted. Okay, so this is going to involve a couple of things. Okay, so here's our couple of things, our algorithm basically. We're going to start with the second value in the list of values, and then we will look back one value. Okay, if those two values are out of order, we'll swap them, and then we'll make a note that we performed a swap. Then we'll move to the next value. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and repeat steps two through four until there are no more values to swap in the list. And then finally, if we did at least one more swap, then we'll repeat all of these steps, starting with step one. All right, so let's do a example. We will sort the following list of values, 9, 7, 4, 6, 1, so that they end up in ascending order. That is, we'll start with 1, and then we'll end up with 4 after that, then 6, then 7, then 9. That's where we're going. Okay, off to the right over here, I've made a place where I can keep track of whether or not I've done the swap. Okay, so let's begin. Starting with the second value, we're going to look back and then determine if these numbers are out of order. If they are, then we'll swap them. And we can tell right now that they are out of order. Right, so let's go ahead and swap them and update our list to reflect the change. Okay, now since I did do a swap, I'll make a note of it over here. Right, T for true. Yes, I did do a swap. Okay, now we'll move to the next value in the list. And then we'll look back. Are they out of order? Yes, they are. So we're going to need to swap them. So let's update our list to reflect that change. Did we do a swap? Yes. So we'll make a note of it. Then we'll move to the next value. Take a look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So then we'll swap them and update our list to reflect that change. We did a swap, so make a note of it. Move to the next value. Look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So we're going to swap them and update our list to reflect that change. We did a swap. Make a note of it. Now, we've reached the end of the list, right? So, reach the end, take a look. Did we do at least one swap? Yes, right? True, we did do at least one swap. So we're gonna go again, right? And at the beginning, when we repeat this, we haven't made a swap yet, so let's indicate that. I'm marking that out. Okay, so we're gonna go, again, we're gonna make another pass. So we'll start with the second value and we'll look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So swap them and update the list to reflect the change. We did make a swap, true. Move to the next number. Look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So swap them. Update the list to indicate a change and indicate that we had a swap. Move to the next number. Look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So swap them. Update the list. Reflect the change. Make a note that we made a swap. Move to the next number. Look back. Are they out of order? No. So we're not going to swap them. That list is going to stay the same. Okay. Now, we're at the end of the list. Did we do at least one swap? Yes, we did, as indicated by our swap column here. So we're going to go again. So let me rewrite the numbers up here in their current state. Reset my swap list. We haven't swapped yet. Okay, and then we're going to repeat. Start with the second value. Look back. Are those out of order? No. Leave it alone. So we'll move to the next value. Look back. Are those out of order? Yes, they are. So we're going to swap and update our list to reflect that and make a note that we did a swap. Okay, move to the next number. Look back. Are they out of order? No. So we're not going to make any swaps. Okay, move to the next number. Nine. Look back. Is Are they out of order? No. So we're not going to make any swaps there either. Now, let's take a look at our swap column. Did we make at least one swap? Yes, we did. So we're going to have to go again. Okay. So we're going to go again. We have one more pass. Start with the second number. 
look back. Are they out of order? Yes. So swap them. We made a swap, so indicate that. Move to the next number, look back. Are they out of order? No, leave it alone. Move to the next number, look back. Are they out of order? No, leave it alone. Move to the next number, look back. Are they out of order? No, leave them alone. Okay, check our swap flag. We made at least one swap, so we gotta go again. Now, you might look at these numbers and go, well, look, it's already sorted, one, four, six, seven, nine. I don't know why I should have to go again. Reason is, computer can only look at two numbers at once. Can't look at all five of those numbers and say, well, it's sorted, right? We can as humans, computer can't. Right? So we have to go one more time, okay? So, start there, look back. Are they out of order? No. Move to the next value. Look back, they out of order? No. Move to the next value, look back. Are they out of order? No. Move to the next value, look back. Are they out of order? No. Check our swap flag, our swap column here. Did we make at least one swap? No. Everything's, as a result, logically, is in order. Therefore, we're done. Okay, so let's summarize. Bubble sort, very simple algorithm. It's built around this idea that we're going to repeatedly swap adjacent values. And we're going to keep going until no swap happens. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.